Hello guys, today we are going to talk about routes in VPC networks. So we have covered VPC network firewall and firewall policies in the previous videos. So today we will focus on routes which is very important part in while in GCP when you create a VPC network. So basically I will share my slide and then we can walk through it. So route will help when you want to like uh, sign traffic from one VM to another VM or uh, one VM to over the uh, internet or anywhere. So basically if you don't have a route to the destination, you cannot send that traffic. So you can suppose like if you want to go from point A to point B, so you must have a route. You must have the, the, know the path, how to go to that specific for, from point A to point B, otherwise you cannot go. Same with that packets also. So if you want to send a packet from one VM to another VM, there must be a route which must be known by your VM. So, uh, so when you create a VPC network, uh, our like Google will create routes for us. Uh, so basically, there are many types of routes when we create a VPC network. So I will tell you in the upcoming slide. So in the first point, we can see like that route lets instance send traffic from one directly to each other in a network. So if it the uh, like suppose if I have a, we have a VPC and I want to try to send traffic between one two of my VMs. So with the help of route, we can send traffic between our VMs in a specific network in a VPC. Also, if you want to send outside the network, suppose you want to send to another VPC or <coughs> another over the internet. So for that, we have a default route. So default route directs traffic the destination which are outside of our our VPC. Like you have a VPC A and you want to send to traffic to Google or you want to access internet from your VM or your from Windows machine. So you must have a default route which will send your all the traffic towards the internet. Also you have to take care while uh, like you have a route proper route which sends the traffic to the internet but still you are not able to reach the internet. This is because of the firewall rules. So you have to take care that proper firewall rules are there and firewall policy which is allowing the traffic also. So there are many cases like suppose you have a proper route to the internet but still you are not able to reach or ping your web server or Google IP. It is because of the firewall rules. Also if you want to isolate your network like you want that no, no one from your network can ping or reach internet. So you just delete the default route. So that default route is means like it is basically like 0, .0, .0, .0, 0, .0, 0.0.0.0 0.0 slash 0 and the next stop is default internet gateway. So if you delete this specific route, you cannot reach to internet any of your VMs in the specific network. If you want, you can delete this route and create a different route like you want to send a traffic to some static or custom destination. You can do, do, do that also. Let's see what other route we have types of route. So when you create a VPC first, so VPC will create system generated routes. So these are some routes which is one system generated default route. So default route that and uh, in which our next stop is our internet gateway only. So you can modify it and even you can delete it also. If you want to create delete your default route and one uh, after that we have subnet routes. So the internal traffic between your subnets like the two subnets, three subnets or subnets in all the region. So subnet on the route comes into the play. So if you want to send that traffic from one subnet to another subnet, so our VPC will use this subnet route. And you need to take care that we cannot delete the subnet route and it is it has the highest priority, it means priority is zero. So you cannot if you suppose you have a subnet route and you want to create one more route, same as same range as subnet route. That is not possible to create a same range as subnet route. So you have to take care of that. After that, we have custom routes. Custom routes you can say static route like you want to create a some static route to some specific destination so you can create a static route after that dynamic routes come into play when you attach your network like suppose vpn or cloud interconnect so in that time cloud router creates some dynamic routes on behalf of you so it will share that routes with another peering gateway suppose you have connected your on-prem to gcp so cloud router will create a bgp session and it will create dynamic routes so it would update and delete and add routes as soon as it finds any new route in the config router configuration 
after that we are peering out so when uh, ever you create a peering between two subnets sorry two route two vpc networks so it will create a peering routes also so peering subnet route basically all the subnets will be shared with your vpc networks from the peer network and also the custom routes so any custom route you have created in your vpc network you can share that specific custom route also in your vpc network with the during the peering and after even if you have created a peering you can edit and update that i will create another video for that after that we have policy based, uh, based routes so it will kind of a combination of protocol source ip and destination ip ring basically it is used by internet tcp and udp load balancer so you have to remember that policy routes are evaluated before any other routes are ev evaluated and also our policy based routes are not exchanged to vpc network pairing so let's go to our uh, console and let's do some demo and i'll be show you the all the routes and how it will be. we can edit and uh, do some changes also so let's go so you can see in the route session we can see that all we have default subnet routes you can see these are all the subnet routes created by default it's, you can see default local route to subnet but these all the my subnet was ip so let's go inside and try to delete it so you can see the local routes this is our local route and we cannot delete it so this confirms that subnet routes we cannot create a subnet delete a subnet route but if we want to delete like suppose you want to delete your default route so this is my default route so let's go and so you can see then default routes we can delete so basically what it is saying that it is default route to the internet so suppose any vm want to reach the internet it will use this specific default route and you can even see that which vm is using this you can see i have an instance one and it is using this route as of now so what we will do we will so i will log in into my vm and i will delete this default route and i will show you that if we delete the default route we cannot reach to the internet so i have logged into my vm so if i try to ping google web server ip you can see i am able to ping the ip so let's delete my default route let's go to default route and this is my default route so i will delete this click on delete also i have one more route this is block route that is just testing so i will delete this also this is doing the same thing as a kind of default route only so i have deleted my default route let's go back to my vm session and let's see whether we are able to ping or not it will take some time so i have deleted my default route so you can see that i'm not able to ping that google server web server ip let's try once again you can see that traffic has been stopped going over the internet this is because of the route so as of now my this vm has no route and it doesn't have any means for this specific destination or any destination outside of my vpc network so suppose i am using this uh, this range these are all my subnets in 10 range so if i go outside of this specific range so my vm doesn't have any uh, internet <laughs> access so if i try to go outside for this specific my ip range for my vpc network so i'm not able to go over the internet because of my default route i have which has which i have been deleted so what i can do i can create this default route once again i will show you how to create just create click on create route you have to give it to the name you can give any name so i will give default route and we can give description route to internet after that we have to select the network in which network we want to create so we have to create in my default network only and destination ip range so i want to give destination 0 .0, 0 .0, 0.0 slash 0 means any ip which uh, any ip so it includes all the ip range so first my submit out will be checked if the range is not in my submit out then it will send over my public this is my specific ip and after that priority i can give anything instance tax so as in fiber rules we have network tax here we have instance tax so i have to give a value like uh, internet and i have to give to the same to my vm also uh, so this route will be applicable to 
the machine which have this specific instance tag so suppose you have 10 machines and 5 have this instance tag so this will route will be applicable to only 5 instance 5 vm so i will show you also that also in a in little bit time after that we have next hope so where we want to send a traffic <laughs> we can send a traffic to internet gateway we can also specify an instance like you want to forward all the traffic to specific instance even we can specify IP address, we can specify VPN tunnel like we have connected your uh, on-prem uh, on to GCP. So you can specify that you want to forward all the traffic to VPN tunnel. Also, you can set up an internal TCP UDP load balancer to forward the traffic. So as of now, we will only select internet gateway and click on create route. So as soon as our route will create, we can see that traffic has started moving over the internet. So let's do one more thing. Let's go to VM and we will create one more instance. Let it be instance to it, let it to be instance. So I will make it little machine type to micro and we will create it. So my VM2 also has been created as name as instance 2. I will access it into it. So in, I have accessed into my vm2 and i will try to ping google ip once again so see i am able to ping this specific google ip so what will i do i will delete my default route and i will create a specific route which will have an instance tag so and i will attach the instance tag to any one of these vms and then we will see the behavior how we, we can reach over internet from these two uh, vms so let's go to my routes and go to my default route and I will delete this. So you can see that I have deleted the route and the ping has been stopped working. So I'm not able to ping. So I will go and create one more route. It is same as route to internet. And I will create same range 0.0. .0 same priority instance type will i will give internet and i will just create this so what do you think i'm able to reach internet now or not because uh, I, will, I have created a default route also let's see if you want to you can comment also so let's go to my vms and see whether i'm able to reach or not see still i'm not able to access internet from my vms You can see from both my VMs, still I am not able to access the internet. It is because I have <coughs> included a instance tag inside my VM. So if you go to my default route, which has we have been created, let me refresh. So this is my default route which I created. It is route to internet, but I have an instance tag internet. So I have to go to my VM and I have to give this instance tag in inside in the vm so let give in for instance once only so i will go to instance one and i will click on edit so as you give your network tags it is same as that only so instead of network tags like you give for firewall loops you have to you can provide instance tag here only in the network tag uh, option so i will just paste my internet instance tag to my network text so this instance tag i will paste here and just save it and let's go back to vm1 and vm2 and see which one of which ping you can see as soon as saved it vm1 has started reaching the internet but still vm2 is not able to use the internet so it confirms that with the help of instance then we can specify <coughs> which VM we want to access the specific service or which VM we don't want to access the specific service. So, instance tag is a very helpful thing. So, suppose you have 10 VMs, all are private VMs, and you want that with the help of CloudNet, you want that only two VMs can reach the internet, and the rest eight VMs doesn't reach the internet. You can so you can create a route with the help of instance tags for the CloudNet over the internet. So like that you can create or allow your specific VM to reach over the internet. Now let's go to go back to my VPC networks and let's
let's go to my test network so inside test network you can see i have a subnet and it has a range of 192.168.2.0/24 so let's create a route same like this only so you can see already i have a route with this range so i will create a same route according with the same subnet range so i will give a second route and destination ip range is also the same as my subnet route let's suppose we can give anything from here let's give it to default internet gateway and click on create so what do you think can we create this out or not so you can see it is giving an error the creating route second route field operation field that this specific region hides the address space of the network and cannot change the routing of packet destination for the network. It is it is because we cannot create a route exactly at the subnet route. So you must have to take care of this like you want because subnet routes have the highest priority. You can say zero, so it will take always the precedence. So you cannot create this route. So what we can do, we have one more option if we cannot create this route. So if you copy this range. So what we can do if you want a specific route you want to create right I will use third route in the destination range instead of 24 you can give a higher higher range you can give like slash 23 so what will happen if you give slash 23 then then we will able to create a specific route otherwise we cannot create let's click on create You can see that we have created this route uh, without an issue. So what will happen that all the traffic which doesn't match this route, like uh, I will uh, have some traffic or which IP which is outside of this specific range and come inside this range will go to this route and all the other traffic will go to this route. So you have to take care while creating the routes also with because so you cannot create a same range as of your, your subnet route. This is very important while creating routing. Also, we can not delete this also. You have to remember this also. So that's all from this route session. If you have any doubts and want to ask, just comment. I will try to help you. Thank you.